So tell me, what's Qatar Tourism's key message to the WTM audience this year? For WTM, there are three things. We're managing on three time horizons. Horizon one, very, very short term, we just went live with our global campaign. We have the Formula One coming up on the 21st of November, the first Formula One ever in Qatar. And then, of course, we have the big event, the FIFA Arab Cup, happening in December, which tourism will support with, we are running in parallel, the Qatar International Food Festival, and we're also running the Qatar Life events. That's Horizon One. Horizon Two, obviously, is the FIFA World Cup in 22 in Qatar, which is the biggest sports event on the planet, which will be an amazing event. The first time ever, actually, people will have a chance to visit and participate in all 64 matches. And then Horizon Three, which is probably more back of my mind, is looking forward to 23. Our goal is to triple our visitor numbers from roughly 2 million to 6 plus more 7 million by 23. Fantastic. And so how would you say that you're evolving to meet the demands of today's travelers, particularly post-pandemic? So there's, there's two things that come to mind. One is the segments we are going after. And there's actually two segments. One is capitalizing on the strength of Qatar Airways, the number one airline in the world, and also leveraging HIA, which is the number one airport in the world. How can I use that when it comes to stopover traffic. So we have a dedicated program trying to target the stopover market. Secondly, is the first time ever Qatar tourism really going after point to point. And we're making strategic investments to attract people for sun, sea and sand, active holidays, etc. So that's the setup that we do. Pandemic wise, we have done very, very well when it comes to Qatar. And tourism was spearheading the Qatar Clean program in partnership with the Minister of Public Health. So that makes us a good place when it comes to COVID pandemic in terms of safety from a speaking medical point of view. On top of that, most people don't know, but Qatar is actually rated as the safest country on the planet. So we are really a safe choice, both physical safety or crime, and then secondly, of course, pandemic wise. So we hope people will do their research, find it out and visit us. And looking into 2022, obviously, as you said, in the build-up to yeah. the World Cup, what preparations are in place? What, what are you doing to kind of court the global travel market? So there's, there's three programs again. If you think about the World Cup, you have pre-World Cup. And usually, and you know this from the London Olympics in 2012, pre any of those events, you usually look at the decline of travel. So we need to make sure people actually don't slow down and they actually enjoy and come because we will have huge growth in capacity. We have about 50 properties that will open by the FIFA 22 World Cup, which will kick off on November 21st, 22. Secondly is of course, during the tournament. During the tournament, our job will be to transport the message about Qatar globally. So what you can expect is something like this, what we're doing right now with the global campaign, to have another version making sure Qatar is more than football and we welcome you in 23, which then leads me to phase three. How do I post such a big event, keep the demand up so that I don't have an oversupply uh, issue to address? So those are the three phases when it comes to the FIFA 22 World Cup. Sounds fantastic plan. Thank you very Thank much, Bertolt. Thank, Thank you. you.